Hey, good morning guys, it's so nice to catch you again on my channel. This is day two of Explorer Montreal. This is uh, our trip from Niagara to, from Ottawa to Montreal. And yeah guys, if you didn't see this first part, it's actually already should be on my channel. It's even old channel about life in Canada. And yeah, let's kick it off with a, with a breakfast actually. We just heading to grab some food in, in this hotel. We stay in, in, in the Hyatt Hotel. It's actually pretty good and you can find a review in the first part of this adventure. And you guys, stay, stay tuned and thank you for watching this one. Exploring this local subway here in Montreal, I should say it's pretty decent. Unexpectedly we've got, you know, these uh, trains with like wheels, <laughs> you know, like it's not uh, iron wheels, just usual normal wheels. <laughs> I don't know, like I was kind of kind of surprised. I'm, I'm going to use like here you know, or, or here like only a train, like subway, bus station, something. But before I need to check my car if it's uh, if, uh, everything is okay with my car because it looks like I parked you not know, in a safe place. Like it's called Old Port, I believe. And we just heading to my car first of all to grab some uh, more warmer cloth because you can see it's just raining, uh, raining. And yeah, by the way, it's some blossom, beautiful blossom. And yeah, we're going to grab some cloth, and then I'll probably try to catch my friend here in Montreal. Oh yeah, looks like everything is just all right. And it was a bunch of bad reviews under this parking space, like I mean in, in Google Maps. So that's why I got some small concern about if it's worth it to park my car, car in here. I don't want to get it stolen because like, like at the Toronto, if you didn't know, in Toronto it's a huge problem right now. It's a bunch of car, just cars just stolen. And yeah, again, so it's actually, it's fine. So we're going to grab some clothes and yeah, we're going to explore this Montreal. No guys, I should mention like this subway, actually the stations, like all this subway system, it looks like even better than I used to see in Toronto, by living in Toronto. It's like, it's much cleaner, it's wider, and it's better, it's, you know, it's like, it's, it's better just working for us, like this subway system. And yeah, this just, <laughs> this train with wheels, this just <laughs> unexpectedly for me. Yes, a couple of words about this uh, experience using this subway in here in Montreal. Actually, it's kind of good, you know. It's like after using uh, this uh, subway, actually, I can say I feel like it's like in Europe, you know. It's different compared to Toronto, and yeah, it's clean, it's uh, safe, it's good, good place to, a yeah, good idea to take some subway instead of uh, driving here everywhere. Like it's much more useful, I should say. So guys, we didn't get uh, beautiful weather today. As it used to be yesterday, it was such a sunny yes weather yesterday. Like I was wearing only t-shirt and all, and today I'm wearing like this, like with jacket and hoodie. So you know, um, I just met my my friend Jeremy. Jeremy, like he's my colleague. He's uh, also web developer. He's actually extremely good. And yeah, at the same time, he's a mu musician and he's making some career. Actually, it's like. I believe he's going to be pretty famous, so <laughs> if you're wondering how to catch him and try to uh, try to experience his music, I'm I probably going to share some links under this video. By the way, Jeremy didn't ask me to do this, and uh, maybe he's going to be surprised about this, but 
Anyway, why not? So I'm going to share with you because it's actually it's really good. It's worth to check check it out. And yeah, it's definitely nice music. So Jeremy is actually local. And yeah, if you're going to visit Montreal, don't forget to visit Jeremy, <laughs> as well as everything what Montreal Montreal can propose you. So now I'm heading to Biodome. It's actually like Biodome, I believe it's called. So it's right over here. See how beautiful it is. Even even with this weather, it's raining right now. You can see it's like not, not a pleasant weather for today. And yeah, guys, I'm going to explore this Biodome. Biodome is going to be interesting experience and I'm going to unveil in this video. This, I believe, this place is built for some Olympic Games and it, it was just a crazy amount of money to, to get to make it happen. And for, for Montreal, it was like it was extremely expensive to build this. And now it's used as a dome and a bunch of folks were actually recommending me to, to visit this one. The same Jeremy just advised me to do and Pradeep, my other friend, and also like a league. And yeah, guys, just stay tuned. I'm going to share with you everything in here. And by the way, with Jeremy, we visited some good food court, like uh, in a pretty uh, nice place, I should say. And I'm going to leave some links for this place under this video. Don't forget to check this out. I'm going to leave a bunch of useful links under this video, under my previous video about Montreal. And I'm going to create new video, I believe. So it's going to be like three at least three videos about this Montreal experience. So don't forget to check this out. And it started raining. You know, guys, so... So yeah, stay tuned, thank you for watching this one. Such a lovely place we got here. So after Toronto, you should not be extremely surprised by seeing raccoon, actually, because it's like Toronto is a famous place uh, to meet some raccoon, actually. So yeah, it's kind of funny. But yeah, it's definitely worth to visit this place so far. So far, so awesome, guys. Good place to share with you. See, this guy just sleeping here and not going to show up his face even, <laughs> you know, just sleeping. It's so funny creature. Just found some beautiful place to, to see this like viewpoint. So such a good place to share with you guys. And don't forget, uh, we have uh, this place has some lockers. Uh, by using like two coins, dollar, you can you can actually keep your belongings in these lockers. You know to to not bring them with you. And actually, it's like this working 
awesome for us. Just it wasn't so, it wasn't so easy to find these two coins, uh, two dollars coins and all. So, but that's why I asked some beautiful lady just to change my five dollars, and actually she just gave me this two dollars, you know, <laughs> without just like like a gift, you know. It was kind of weird, it, kind of weird feel, feeling for me. Just I was asking to, <laughs> to change my five dollars, and I get. Uh, two dollars for free so actually uh, this is how beautiful people here in montreal and yeah guys and you know friends just uh, want to mention this comparing to toronto from uh, actually we are from yes from niagara but before we used to live in toronto like we here and comparing to toronto uh, aquarium in toronto so actually like this biodome actually like it's just different so must have to visit and yeah Hey guys, just another insanely cool section, like tropics section, and a bunch of just mind blowing birds in, in here. And it's too warm for me, <laughs> like after all the penguin experience, it's just like tropic stuff, you know? That's why I'm saying it's not like the same what you will get in Toronto in aquarium. It's just completely not the same. It's different experience. So that's why it's worth to visit, like for sure. Let's check this out. Guys, don't forget to find a small little fox in here, like it's not easy to catch. I'm spending all my time with you 
you guys, if you find yourself in the, in the situation where this weather is not so pleasant for you, so just don't don't get upset and get explore this biodome. So yeah guys, we've got just a so lovely day today with this uh, biodome, it's must nice have to use it. And right now I'm just staying here in the gym. I'm going to do actually some stretching. Uh, the best time to do is actually like before night, before sleep, not like in the morning. Don't do it in the morning time, never. And yeah guys, actually yeah, I'm almost like wrapping up and I'll try to catch you in the next one. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to create a bunch more interesting videos for you guys. And yeah, never stop exploring, don't sit at home, just explore, and you can all bye-bye, peace out. Hell we found it.